GTA 6 is finally announced with an awesome trailer giving us our first official look at the game. Despite only being 90 seconds long, there are a ton of tiny little details that you can see that will give us a hint at some of the cool features we can expect when the game releases. Let's take a look and go through each of the scenes and list every cool thing we could find and I have over 40 that I spotted in the short trailer from vehicles, returning features and just cool gameplay. Let's jump into it. Number one, a prison. Lucia is in prison either at the start of the game or at some point in the story, probably fully explorable as well. GTA 5 did have a prison, but it wasn't a very exciting one. A beachfront based on Miami's coastline. Loads of boats in the water, including small rental type boats and jet skis are making a return. Birds flying past and sharks can be seen swimming. Dolphins in the water and given how amazing Red Dead Redemption 2 was with animals, I'm sure there's gonna be plenty more to find. You then get an amazing shot of Vice City and a helicopter flies by and a plane in the distance pulling a sign that says something. It's definitely for some in-game brand but I'm not sure entirely what it says. I think it says 919 and it says why settle when you can 919. But I could be wrong so let me know in the comments if you can make out exactly what it says. Next some awesome shots of apartments and you can just about make out a large aeroplane in the sky which we will definitely be able to fly. We skip to the Everglades and see an airboat driving through the swamp, very Red Dead Redemption 2 looking, which is not a bad thing. Flamingos and herons seen standing in the water then flying away. We're back at the beach with lots of people, nothing different in this one from the last beach scene, but you can see a drone flying, which is something we didn't see before. The two people running in the middle also have a small dog, and I'm hoping that pets are going to be a thing in GTA 6. Speedboats driving along the dock next to a large cargo ship. A car driving, you can see the sign for one of the game's locations as well, called Kelly County, and this seems to be where the airport will be located. We see downtown area with lots of cars and motorcycles, very much similar to previous GTA games. A strip club, it wouldn't be Grand Theft Auto without one, and it seems to be called Make It Rain Mondays. We get our first look at the city at night, and it does look pretty amazing. Lots of cars, apartments and villas, and a large yacht in the water as well with many smaller boats but it's hard to make out any of the details but the city at night does look good. A downtown area with lots of fast cars and hotels like the Hotel Dixon, Boardwalk and Neptune. I also recognize a lot of the cars and most of them seem to be from GTA 5 including the one you can see there. The most obvious one is the Cheetah. The area based on the Florida Keys looks great. You can even see some cargo ships sailing about which is cool because that's not something you've saw in previous GTA games. Usually the ships that drive about are all much smaller ones. A rooftop party, possibly a rooftop bar. The bikini has the design of Sasanta Nove clothing brand on it from GTA 5. There's also people drinking cocktails and on phones. Instagram or social media style posts, it has a follow button and so it's going to be amazing if the game has its own internal social media. Another social media post called Official Poach and he's wrestling an alligator out of a pool. People doing donuts in the streets, you can also see a food market in the corner and it's called What's Cooking, says Se Habla Espanol, meaning we speak Spanish. Another social media style one, but it looks like a live stream and I'm hoping that in the game you'll be able to live stream what you're doing and then other people in game can watch what you're doing on the in game social media. Obviously this is just all speculation, but it would be pretty cool. An alligator walking into a store called Postal. A police raid of some kind, police chasing a Florida man through a gas station called Arrow, a man crotch grabbing, it reveals also in this one more locations in the game like Leonida or Leonida, and it also reveals that the beach is just going to be called Vice Beach, and the keys are also just called the keys as well. Another car, but it says Ride Out Customs on the back, maybe one of the in-game car dealers. A naked man watering his grass, I'm hoping this is going to be the type of thing that we find in random encounters like we do in Red Dead Redemption 2. Thrill Billy Mud Club, pretty much beer and monster trucks. A billboard for a drug called Angst Pain, an antidepressant that cures emotions. Also in this one we can see our first look at two different Sheriff cars. We see Jason and Lucia in a car with money, they're obviously robbers and we'll see a little bit more of that in a minute. Weasel News returns. Also we have another news outlet, Mega Mundo News. The headline says confessions written in tattoo ink. The neck tattoo was key in the conviction of the man from Leonida. He also has impenitent written on his head which doesn't really mean anything so possibly something to do in game, maybe a gang or something like that. 
The next news about dirt bikes mentions at the bottom a man sucked into a water spout, and I'm hoping that maybe we get some cool weather in the game, although it could just be a silly story on the news, which is always possible. We see the return of High Rollers, the return of Pisswasser and E. Cola, some other brands as well you can make out like Lager Beer, La Vesas, Pindejo and Dignity. You can see a pawn shop and a gun store. Lastly, we see Jason and Lucia robbing an Uncle Jack's liquor store in the end. And I guess that's what the main game is going to be about. Those two being robbers and getting involved, presumably, in something much bigger. Guys, that is it. Over 40 things I spotted in the trailer. Some things were quite obvious. Some of the things were a little bit less so. But if you noticed anything that I didn't, let me know in the comments below. Like and subscribe. I'm going to go over future GTA 6 videos when they release of any kind. And I'll of course be going over the game when it does come out in 2025. Until then, have an awesome day and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.